guys, welcome to Mikey's Video Game Madness. Today we're playing Silent Hill Shattered Memories for the Wii. This is also available on the PlayStation 2 and I believe on the PSP, but this is definitely made for the Wii due to the unique little mechanics that require you to manipulate the motion control, but this is actually one of the few games that utilizes the motion control in a unique way, so I totally don't mind. Sorry to use Mikey. I hope they give me enough room to write Michael. Not that it matters. Because I'll just play the Mikey game after I'm done making this video. I don't like using an analog sticks, and I wrote my name wrong, which I don't know if that really says a lot about my intelligence level, but I just wasn't paying attention. Like after I'm done this video, I'll probably erase this game. Due to the pacing of this game, you're probably not going to see bad guys, but you'll at least get a decent idea of what this game is like. I didn't want to start in the middle of it. So we're starting from the beginning. Play a game options. Make sure subtitles are available. Subtitles should be on. Okay, now we gotta go back. I have to actually look at the controller because I'm not really used to playing Wii games. I'm gonna put up the brightness ever so slightly because my TV contrast ratio is kinda off compared to what the default is on most games. So let's go back. We're going to overwrite this. Already you can tell this game is awesome because of this exciting experience we've already witnessed through the menu screen. Excuse me. Sweet. So this is basically a retelling of the first Silent Hill story. Um, this is the only Silent Hill game that I know of that you play and you actually can't fight back. So there's just a lot of running, puzzle solving. It's about atmosphere. If you saw the psychological warning that they had in the beginning, this game actually asks you a few questions and stuff like that, and you answer them. And based on how you play and the questions you answer, the game actually changes. Like, for instance, if you um, answer like a lot of questions, basically trying to suggest that you're a, a more sexually oriented person when it comes to things like it'll make the characters slightly um, sexualized and stuff like that and it basically monitors on like the things that you look at when you're exploring in the game like if you stare at a poster or something I don't know all the ins and outs of it just because um, I kind of like that element of surprise. But, um, I have to say for a Wii game, this doesn't look that bad. This game has really bad aliasing, which is really one of the few negative things I can say about the graphics. But as far as the console and stuff like that, that's really decent. Um, it appears that they're using normal mapping for this glass, so I imagine that the um, PlayStation 2 and of course the PSP version of this game is probably visually downgraded. So this kind of tells a story somewhat similar to the first game, but it's its own thing. I don't know would this be considered canon or the first game, or they're just separate series altogether. I don't think this game did all that well because people had very polarizing opinions about it like yes. when they went to go review it and I guess eventually buying it so some people bought it That's but fine. not as many as I guess Konami would have liked because there was never a Silent Hill game again like this when they released another Silent Hill which I believe the last one was down for and ended up like being closer to the other Silent Hills although it was a little bit more action oriented. 
Konami's been kind of getting into this thing where they're getting other companies to develop their games and Konami just publishes it. I guess uh, they're, they're starting to get more Western developers to work on their games. Versus Japanese developers, I guess, to keep relevance in the market here. Because, I mean, I'm most Japanese games have a certain vibe, up shows your and Americans process. have their own vibe, and when they yeah. try to, when, like, Americans try to create Japanese games and vice versa, you definitely can tell you. the difference, and they definitely don't I come out, know. right? This be different. We take so, this um, case. I'm sitting way too no close notes. to the TV. I hope you can no still notes. hear me. I'll try to talk fairly Healthy loud, which is completely out of character for me, so... We go back to the start. I don't know how good this commentary is going to be if I have to yell. Take a look at this short form. But I don't know. We'll get through this game I together. It's the only one you'll see during your therapy. But so far, I haven't played Try much of this game, but I really it's like it. See here, you have questions. Do I make friends easily? False. Having a drink helps me relax. I'll just say true. Always listen to other people's feelings, of course. Prefer abstract ideas. True. Enjoy role playing during sex. Why don't we just put true? Working to a plan. To or working to a plan or schedule is best. Uh, kind of on the fence about that. I'll put true. I hesitated. I don't know if it thinks I lie. Never cheated on a partner. As far as this game knows, true. I'm not saying whether I answered those questions truthfully or not, since they were kind of personal questions, but really? we'll see how the game reacts. Now I gotta shake yes. That's kind of gimmicky. Okay. I think he asked if I told the truth. I didn't even read. But um, what's cool about this, when you're not playing these little scenes, is your Wii remote actually functions as your flashlight. And wherever you point the remote, it points at points like you're pointing a flashlight and the shadows in this game are really good for the the Wii and its um, graphical limitations very impressed Cheryl? with what they were able to pull Sweetie? off with this game I mean it's not like a Nintendo developed game but they did a really good job and I really like the Resident Evil series especially the older ones but I think Cheryl? due to the weirdness Cheryl? and the horror elements of Silent Hill and they don't really ever fully explain anything I think that's creepier and I think between the two survival horror franchises I always felt that Silent Hill was the more creepy one because it deals with more of the supernatural and the cult versus Resident Evil which started with zombies which was really cool I wish it would have just stuck on that or stayed on that but um yeah, I think Resident Evil is more of a sci-fi thing than an actual, like, straight-up horror game. But the lighting effects in this game, I mean, I know you've seen all this shit on Xbox 360 and um, PlayStation 3. This actually does look quite nice, because you had to understand... The Wii is essentially a glorified GameCube, and the GameCube was probably slightly underpowered than the Xbox 360, but more powerful than the PlayStation 2, so it's in the middle. I think the Wii is actually slightly more powerful than the um, GameCube, but I think with all the motion control shit and all that stuff, it might take up more resources, so they never really, in my opinion, exploited its full power, if that's the case, because, I mean, all you have to do is look at Star Wars, either Rogue Squadron 2 or Rogue Squadron 3, either one, or even Super Mario Sunshine, and those games look really good. A lot of people think Metroid Prime looks really good. I think it kind of just looks average, but that's just my opinion. 
There's always this thing about me where I have to see if the, anybody left a loaf in the toilet. I don't know why. I just got to see the attention to detail. There's very few games that do that. I think there was, um, in the original Soldier of Fortune, I think there was a loaf in the toilet. And then, um, of course, Duke Nukem forever had a, had a turd in the toilet that for whatever strange reason you could pick up out of the toilet and throw it like a deranged chimpanzee. So that was pretty unique. So now you got these little puzzles like this, which I don't know how they would translate on the PlayStation 2, but I think they're kind of cool. And there's a little speaker that um, makes noises and stuff. If I put it up to the microphone, it's not going to be able to register, but um, yeah, it uses the microphone a lot in this game. Like when you do stuff, and the PlayStation 4 actually has a microphone too that they they start to utilize a little bit in games. But I like that kind of, it's kind of gimmicky, but I still like the immersion. I gotta look at the controllers to see what Z is. I'm used to the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3's controllers, especially the Xbox 360's. Because the Xbox 360, especially on the classic controller, has like similar letters for their um, for their buttons, but they're reversed on the Nintendo controller. So sometimes it'll tell me to do something, and I'll end up pushing the wrong button by accident. But yeah, the weather effects are good. The lighting's good. It's very atmospheric. You feel like you're in a like an abandoned snowed in town which is kind of cool and this isn't just like baked in lighting like things are casting shadows which is nice and pretty soon we'll do one of our well I guess that door lock was kind of a puzzle but whatever you're feeling your calls Christ my wife just told me about the video you think I'm gonna let you get away with that? You wipe our wedding video? You knew that was the only copy. You can't replace that. Watch your backs. I was wondering if you could push the other buttons. Last time I played this, I didn't try. Alright, so... Staff... There should be a room in the back. Here it is. And we gotta switch it to... Here, I'm putting the controller up. See, I don't know. Well, I'm saying C, but if you hear that clicking sound, that's the speaker, me turning the knob. It's a little bit gimmicky, but it adds to immersion, and it actually, um, you actually have a cell phone in this game that you use a little bit later on and when your phone rings the controller actually rings too and people talk into it and it's kind of cool I like stuff like that anyway it kinda makes it I wouldn't say necessarily realistic but it makes it a little bit more immersive when you're physically holding something and sound from the game is coming out of it I think that's kinda cool so back and go in here but yeah this game is mostly running away and solving puzzles there's really no fighting in this game which some of you Silent Hill veterans might be turned off by that but you know Silent Hill to me isn't about isn't about and never was about the action or the boss fights or anything else it was always about the atmosphere that made it stood out and the creepiness and 
dealing with the uh, cult and demons or whatever the hell the things are that attack you. There's this weird thing at the playground. I forgot how to turn my flashlight on or off. probably told me while I was running my mouth. Cheryl! But it's easier to see when there's not light on it. I think there's a way to turn off your flashlight. Maybe there isn't. But anyway, there's like some faded girl on a swing there. And there's really no explana explanation about it. Maybe... It'll explain it further on, but it's whatever. So that's locked. So, um, you go over here. It's one of the few things you can interact with, so I'm sure it's like, oh, what am I supposed to do? So far, the puzzles haven't been my mi like mind bending or anything. Pretty logical stuff here. And off we go. And what's the first thing you do when you're in a fucked up town? You get fucked up so you can match the town, of course. So we're gonna go to good old days. Not gonna open. At least I thought we were gonna go to good old days. That's where I went last time. Maybe the game changed based on how I played, I don't know. Yeah, this is different, so the game must change based on what you do. And I believe based on whatever answers that you gave that guy or however you play. Like her shirt opens up more. So I'm thinking that this game thinks that I'm some sort of sex fiend. Because I noticed if her shirt like goes down one more button. Okay, we either sir? are going to Not see a, to a bra or straight up nudity. I'm looking for my daughter. Take a seat. Your daughter. Go on. We were in a car accident. When I came to, I know the gone. game wants me to look at the cleavage, but maybe she went to get help. I'm gonna see if um. She a clever girl. If I ignore it, if anything's gonna change. Yeah, so she's seven. Her name's Cheryl. Here's a photo. I'm wondering if last you. time, the reason why the bar Very was nice open, maybe I had the eye like on the. Street on the bar or something like that when I was Your playing. Says you live on I don't know. Street. That's a few but last street. time I played on the Mikey game like yeah, the bar was open. Live. This time the diner was uh -huh. open. You feeling Unless okay, I just Harry? opened the wrong door Any to the headache? bar. Nausea? Blurred vision? Yeah, Maybe she went home. Makes sense. My phone on my remote's Harry? ringing. I don't know if phone. you can hear it. My phone. Right. Nobody's know. on there. A lot of problems with But you got to hear it. Kind of I'm trying to do my best Maybe to let you guys she get the most experience that, that you can out of a YouTube video. I mean, sure it has my commentary, but at least you get to see I the game. It's okay. I'll head home. I'm sure she's there. And don't adjust the resolution. Done, this over. game actually has some Let's sort of grain filter Thanks. that makes it try to look like an older Take film care. from the 80s. Like, they started to do that in the second Silent Hill movie. Not movie, the second Silent Hill game on PlayStation 2 and never looked back. Ever since then, the game had a grain filter on it. 
great. Now we can push the negative button to, to um, select things. I don't know what to select. You can change your ringtones. The controller's up to the microphone. It's not the... Um, it's not like the game that you're hearing from the TV. This is the controller. Pretty much every single one of these um, ringtones are pretty annoying. You don't get any of the cool catchy ringtones that you would on a real cell phone. Maybe it's to keep up with the horror effect, just to add blood curdling um, ringtones. I don't know. I guess you can take pictures. Oh, I like how they um add it like lag, like you would on a real camera phone. Um, Maybe the older ones, the better one, the newer ones actually don't really have that anymore. But by the time that this game came out, like back in the day, I'm sure, um, I'm sure this is pretty accurate. Cause I had a few phones that had like that lag when you move the phone fast with the camera. Mine really doesn't do it anymore. Take a picture of the lighthouse, I guess. I really don't care see what other things that it has apparently I'm a soulless person I don't have anything in my gallery by default don't I have like a contacts list this is the controller by the way hello Cheryl sweetie That's kind of cool. Um, back. Got a map built into the phone. All the handy dandy stuff you'd expect from a cell phone of whenever this game came out. That would take the edge off. Kind of cool. You use motion controls to um, and you zoom out so you actually can read. Covering himself with light, as with a cloak stretching out the heavens as a curtain. And if you were curious, this cost nine dollars and ninety-three cents, which I think is a good deal. I'm sure that has something to do with a puzzle I haven't come across yet. Already forgot what the thing said. It's nice to know I can manipulate cabinets. He said something about taking the edge off. I don't. Mm, black gold. I guess that's alcohol and not ketchup. That's the only interactive thing I see over there. Nah. It's locked. You don't have to go all and shrug your shoulders about it, but whatever. I think your phone might work as a radio like it did in the older Silent Hills where like it might make noise or whatever when an enemy is nearby. I don't know. I'm just guessing little old pinups. I always like those paintings. There was like a book I found at the bookstore that had a, um, a bunch of old pinup posters in it. I really kicked myself for not getting it. It was like in the discount rack too a long time ago. I never got it. I wish I would have. I just like the old art style from um, that time era. Certain things like that. I also like the old like Sailor Jerry like um, World War Two tattoos and stuff like that. Not gonna open. 
new waypoint. Pull out the phone because I don't know where that is. I can zoom in, but oh. all right. I was thinking that I was gonna zoom in even closer. So I need to go here. Apparently, you can draw on this thing. Do a my best self-portrait with the limited Wii controls. There. Barely moving it. I don't think that I'm gonna be able to do anything all that great. As long as he has like some morose, depressive ass fucking look, I've captured the essence. Oh, this looks just like me. <sighs> I had some hair. Do, 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 do. This is probably not what the developers intended. I don't care. I draw better than this in real life, I promise you. I do consider myself an artistic person. I might even go as far to say as I'm an artist, but this is not a display of my skills. Although I'd like to see other people's drawings with this, so maybe if you put it in that context. It'll be better. This is kind of how I'm feeling now because I, um, I don't really know where to go and I'm trying to film a video so uh, I'm just kind of messing around because I'm trying to film a video and make it entertaining. This is a slower paced game so Trying to do my best to try to make it in entertaining. But I don't know. I wonder if this is going to give me some crazy waypoint. Let's just abstract. This is a regular old Jackson Pollock, and I didn't even have to throw paint around. All right. Um, the city's pretty condensed. There's probably only one way to get to wherever I have to go. It's so weird that I can't get into the bar. There's like some older lady, but I guess it depends on what what answers that you picked or what you paid more attention to I don't know oh I gotcha now this it makes a little bit more sense I bet you I can see that stupid little ghost swing set or whatever that is. Maybe it's just a memory. That's somewhat creepy. Oh, I got a message now for some reason. Let's listen. Well, 
that was unnecessarily unhelpful. My dog must be nearby. She passed gas and it smells like what I imagine a corpse on the beach would smell like if it was sitting in the sun for a good, I don't know, two days. Enough for putrefaction to at least start. And you squeeze like the juice out of one of the appendages or whatever and put it in the cup and just like put your face over the cup of like the putrefied flesh and just huffed it. I imagine it smells a lot like that. Not sure though. If I remember correctly, yeah, I gotta climb this bitch. All right. Now I'm getting static. Something in the room is interfering with Harry's cell phone. Listen to the whine and hone in on the disturbance. You can hear static on the controller. I imagine it's going to get louder when I get close to something. It's getting pretty loud now. message how about that let's listen to have and to hold from this day forward I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad to sleep by your side and be your faithful companion all right another I guess that's supposed to be a memory or something but it's not really helping me find where I need to go Just winging it here, hope for the best. Does this game have street signs or is that like too much to ask for in this type of game? Probably only one path to go down. You can see his breath. I guess that's kind of a cool effect. I mean, I've seen it done on lesser systems, but I mean, it's still cool. I like the style of this game a lot. The Wii has limited capabilities, and I feel like they really utilized it. They're not Nintendo, so they don't know every trick up like the Wii can do, but they definitely did a good job. And there's reflections on the ice. That's pretty decent. Well, that was kind of creepy in its own right. 
I'm sure it'd be creepier if I had the sound up, but whatever. I get the gist of its creepiness. Everything has blue edges. So I guess this game supposed to have like some old VHS tape here. Oh shit. The feeling you're going to be doing a lot of running in this game. So if you swing the remote, they apparently get off of you, but well, I hope I can climb that son of a bitch. They are many, they cannot be killed or hurt, throw them off and run, lose them and find the exit and escape the nightmare. Gosh dang it, you didn't even give me the chance. I'm so glad I didn't sit too close to the TV with all these motion controls, I'm still kind of close. If you hear a change in my voice, that's because I've had to like thrust the controller or whatever. I don't even know where to go. Do I go back? like I lost. I have a good idea what to do now, but I'm not trying to wreck my household trying to do it. Um, this is... Oh, let me try again. Since I'm in the ice world. My problem with this is I'm sitting too close to the TV because of the microphone. I want to be able to actually be heard. I don't even know how well I'm pulling that off. And the sensor bars on top of my TV, which is actually higher than where, where my head is, like, sitting down. So, um, once I start doing all those motion control gestures and all that shit, the, um, sensor bars kind of lost track of where I point. And, like, it's kind of like my camera, so... What if I hide or something? Was this Metal Gear Solid? And if you're wondering what that weird sound is, it's actually my controller making all this weird sound. I guess this phone's making it. I don't know. I'm guessing you don't have health in this. Game. Uh, get away from me. I hope this is the door that. that didn't come out of, but I think it is. So glad these guys don't have super strength or something. I mean, just shake them off, but still. Oh, great, a dead end. Maybe not. Stop freaking stalling. Oh, there. This is kind of intense. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know exactly where to go. 
the static's getting quieter, so perhaps I'm making the right choices. Oh, I guess that's just another place for him to hide. I guess the stags start not because they're knowing where I am. I need this shit to be as quiet as possible. Is this a maze? They're everywhere for crying out loud. Push the asshole down. This game is suffering from a lot of slowdown. That could be an issue. But I guess it functions okay. It function better if it didn't have slow. Why the what the hell did I go that way for? Trial and error shit. Get under there. Oh man. What is this shit in? Why am I hanging out there? I just need to get out of here. coming out of the pool, I think. Light flare will see the heat will hold off the creature while it lasts. I don't even know what the C button is. Oh, it's the little one on the nunchuck. Anyway, I think you guys gotten more than enough taste of Silent Hill Shattered Memories for the Wii. This is also available on the PlayStation 2 and PSP. I'm liking it so far, um, despite some of the issues that I pointed out, like the slowdown, and really that's, and the gesture controls I'm not a terribly huge fan of, and what I mean by gesture controls, I like moving the flashlight around with the um, Wii Remote and whatnot. Um, can I pause this? I like using the Wii Remote to aim the flashlight and stuff, but I don't like having to swing the controller around and shit to get the bad guys off of me or whatever the hell they are but I like the I like the atmosphere how the game judges you the graphics the style it seems to have its own creepiness so a lot of good things about this game um I would definitely recommend to try it out if you're a fan of the series or if you're just curious um Again, this isn't a review. I haven't played the game fully, but based on my initial impressions, like I think it seems like it would be a good time to play through, and hopefully I'll eventually get to this and finish it, and maybe when I do, sometime in the future, when they have flying cars and other shit, and I'll be blind and I'll see like through a visor like Geordi on Star Trek, um... I'll be able to do reviews probably by then. This game might be slightly obsolete by then, but I mean, that won't stop me. So it's all about the fans, right? Um, if I have any. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, if you wouldn't mind, click the like button. And if you wouldn't mind, leave a comment, positive or negative. If you do choose to use a negative, or put a negative comment down please make sure the criticism is constructive and don't be an asshole and please don't make me define what the definition of that is you should know I'm gonna assume you're an intelligent person yada 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 I like the positive comments better but if you do decide to leave a negative one don't be a dick make sure the criticism is constructive and if you're new to this channel there's probably better channel <laughs> videos on my um channel that you'll probably enjoy more but if you happen to enjoy this one 
Um, feel free to subscribe. If not, check out the other videos and then subscribe. Either way, you're obligated. But um, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.